Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Windows Character Map to find special characters that you could use to copy and paste and insert in all kinds of things, you know, like your documents or emails and that sort of thing. So right here I have a Word document that I'm working on. So let's say I wanted to insert something like a bullet or, I don't know, some a square or a box, some other character like that. So what I could do is I could open up the Character Map, and the best way to do that, you could find it by searching for it, but I would just start typing Character Map. And then click on that guy there. And now it's going to bring up a character map. And the characters that you have will depend on what fonts you have installed. So here are all my fonts here. So you'll notice if I click on a different font, I get different characters to choose from. And so on. And they kind of vary. So it kind of takes a little bit of searching to find what you're looking for. Um, so let's say... find like a gener generic font like Arial here. Okay, so let's say I'm here and I'm scrolling around looking for something I like. And as you can see, there's all kinds of things here. Okay, let's say I wanted a trademark signal I'd symbol. I'd click on that, click on select, then it would add it here, and then I click on copy. And then I could go back to my uh, Word document here and just, you know, paste it in there. And there you go. I got my trademark symbol. And if I want to add multiple things, let's say I like this symbol here. I like that. And I like that. I could pick them all here. Hit copy. Go back into my document here. Paste them in there. And there you go. So, you might be wondering, you know, how do you find something in particular that you're looking for so you don't have to spend all day scrolling around here. So if you click on Advanced View, let me clear these out of here. And let's say I wanted to find the bullet I was talking about. Type it in here. Click on Search, and there you go. There's my bullet. And I could select it, copy it, and then just Control-V, paste it in right there. And there's my bullet. So the search, you know, searching is going to you know, kind of vary on if you know the actual uh, word that you're looking for for what the symbol is actually called. So let's try a box here. Let me reset it first. Okay, so like I put in box and I didn't find anything that's really a box. And I don't know if I were to use a different symbol, it would find anything better, or actually a different font, if it would find anything better or not. Yeah, nothing there either. Try one more just for fun here. Yeah, so like I said, search, searching is going to, might be a little bit tricky. Remember to reset each time you start a new search here. You know, so I found a circle. If I wanted to copy a circle. So yeah, so like I said, just, you know, this is the results you get are going to vary on what fonts you have installed and how many. So like I said, just do a search for character map, uh, go through some of the fonts, find what you're looking for, try the search option under advance, and then you can just you know, select it, copy it, paste it into your document, and that's all there is to it. All right, thanks for watching.